In Ethiopia, the term Fano resonates deeply within the Amhara community. Originating from the Amharic language, it can be roughly translated as volunteer fighters. Yet, its historical roots stretch back to the 1930s, when these courageous volunteer fighters united in a remarkable display of bravery to resist Italian invaders. Their acts of valor and their unwavering dedication to principles to justice, patriotism, courage, honor, and the preservation of their nation's integrity not only earned them respect, but also solidified their revered status within the Amhara ethnic group. Famous bombers took part in a raid upon Desi. Planes cleared away for 3,000 armored cars to advance front. In Ethiopia, there was great rejoicing in the capture of tanks. I'm 15 years old. My home is in Addis Ababa. Italy wants to make war against my people. We, we are a peace-loving country and have no work to do here in Ethiopia without being troubled by foreign countries. We do not want war, but if we are attacked, we fight to the last drop of our blood to protect our homes. My father and brother will take me along when they go to war. The significance of the term Fano runs far beyond mere words. It carries deep emotional resonance within the Amhara community, embodying the values that have shaped their history and identity. In recent years, Fano has undergone a transformation, evolving into a diverse force comprising students, farmers, workers, and individuals from all walks of life. Their mission has expanded to include safeguarding the Amhara population. From ongoing atrocity from various groups, including the Abi government, Oromo Liberation Front, Tigray People Liberation Front, Oromo Regional Government, and Gumez Militia. What distinguishes Fano from other armed movements in Ethiopia is its unwavering commitment to justice, equality, and the pursuit of a united and peaceful Ethiopia. While Fano has a historical legacy of defending Ethiopia, the current circumstances have led them to focus on safeguarding the Amhara community. Crucially, they undertake these endeavors without embracing any notions of superiority or advancing selfish agendas that would endorse injustice and violence against other ethnic groups. Fano upholds a stringent code of ethics, adamantly refusing to tolerate any of its members engaging in acts of robbery or violence against innocent civilians. Their dedication to these principles sets them apart as a resolute champion of Ethiopia's integrity, equality, and justice. Throughout its history, Fano has faced formidable challenges. In the past, they confronted modern aircraft deploying mustard gas during the Italian war, and today they contend with Abbey's drones. What remains a common thread in these harrowing incidents is their unwavering commitment to enduring suffering in the pursuit of justice, equality and freedom. 